Coach Burt. 553. Now, now it is 553 since we had the the, the, the malfunction. Coach Michael Burt, the original monster producer, folks. I believe, I believe a monster producer is a legendary creature that combines multiple skills to dominate a market. That's what I believe, folks. Let's see who's up. Sonia Turner, Kenneth. There we go. Let's see who's tough enough to be up at 5.53 in the morning. Okay. I was at F45. Greatest workout on the planet. Mike Dole, I was there this morning. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, big guy. Scott Miller up at 4 o'clock. That's a discipline. Richard Johnson, good morning. Doug Peacock. Doug Peacock is making a run. He's making a run for it, man. I'm seeing you come alive, big guy. Coach Burt, it's 5.53 a.m. I just left at 45. I started at 5 a.m. I was up at 4.15 a.m. And because uh, I got monster producer today. And game days are our best days. Game days are our best days. But you know, I, I realized something during my workout today because I have all these thoughts during my workout. We're in a series right now called Level 10 Opportunities. Thank you to all the people who, can, who were on my webinar last night on how to do 1.3 million in a month. Okay, if you missed it, you should have been on there because I gave five secrets. <laughs> five secrets that um, that I used to, to do 1.3 million last month. And a lot of it had to do with what we're going to talk about today, which is what happens when opportunity comes and you're not ready for it. Good morning, Jason Peck and Randy Jackson. It's interesting to me that everybody wants opportunity. Everybody wants to get ahead. Everybody wants it. And then... They don't prepare, so when it does come, they're, they're not ready for the opportunity. The big opportunity comes, but you're unprepared. You didn't chop wood and carry water for years. Your skill set isn't strong enough. You, you showed up late and you left early. You didn't work the muscle. You don't have the acumen. You don't have the phraseology. You don't have the verbiage. You don't have the discipline. And I can't tell you folks how many times this happens to people. A big opportunity comes and you're not ready. And you use the excuse that the timing's not right. Well, I just missed the opportunity. Somebody else got the opportunity. I should have got the opportunity. No, you missed the opportunity folks because you weren't ready for the opportunity. And you weren't ready for the opportunity because you didn't, you didn't work hard enough to get yourself ready. Opportunity comes when you plow and work your land over and over and over. And then all of a sudden, opportunity comes. Good morning, Justin. And, and, and you either ready for it or you're not ready for it. And at that moment, you can't fake it. You've always heard it's not what you know, it's who you know. I wanna add a third part to that. When you get in the room, folks, you better know. Okay, you don't get in big rooms with big time people doing big time things and not know what you're doing because it's very obvious to those people you don't know what you're doing. So, so this is very important. Level 10 opportunities come along. They come along so every so often. And when they come along, you got to see it and you got to seize it. And you never know when a blue gill opportunity turns into a blue marlin opportunity. Okay. And that means when you take something small and you make it into something big. But, but when you get something small, you got to do something with it. That, that's the whole concept. Prayer of Jabez. Help me expand my territory, right? The parable of the talents. Take one talent and multiply those talents because you did something with the talent. And so I really want to encourage you. It hit me this morning during the workout. Uh, is that there will be a lot of people say, man, I just couldn't get it all in today. I couldn't get everything in. And they will sleep late. They will say, well, I couldn't get up to get my workout in. Well, you could have gotten up. You, you just you would you had to get up at four versus five, which is what I had to do today, because I got a lot going on. Okay, I could have made more sales calls. I could have been more prepared. I could have got my sermon in if I got up a little bit earlier. I could have got it all in if I would have just got it all in. And so I don't want you, uh, John Hart, when opportunity comes to miss opportunity, because you 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 weren't preparing the whole time, right? And I think, man, I can't tell you how many people that I see that, you know, man, they just don't get ready. They, they, they just mess around all day. They mess around all week. They mess around all year. They mess around their whole lives. And then a big opportunity comes and it's like, well, I didn't get it. I don't know why I didn't get it. I don't know why they got it. 
and I didn't get it. Well, you do know why. You, you didn't prepare. You weren't ready. Your skill set was weak. You didn't, your prey drive it wasn't activated. You were in a complacent state for so long. Listen, you get yourself in too big a complacent state for too long, folks, and you, when opportunity comes, you will not be able to take it. It's like getting out of shape. You let yourself go for so long and get out of shape, it's, it's hard to get back in shape, okay? You keep yourself maintained and you get in the gym and you work out and you gain a pound or two, you lose a pound or two. Okay, so so I see so many people that let themselves go for so long, and they're like, man, I just, you know, I just, it's be, it'd be too hard to just get it all back. So I just let myself go. It, you know, that's not what you want to do. Same thing is true of opportunities. You let your skill set go. You let your connections go. You let your networks go. You let your right. You're not practicing. You're not working the skill. And then and then the opportunity comes. Like, man, I, I can't handle that opportunity. I'm not big enough to have that opportunity. I don't have the infrastructure to handle that opportunity. So I'm a big believer that we create opportunity through action, Sean Vernon, and, and the way we, it, but we, but we never get opportunities when we're always behind and we're always struggling and we're always, cause we're, we're sending that out to the universe. And I'm gonna go back old school guys. I'm going back OG style, back to my book. Uh, this ain't no practice life. I talked about five levels of people. There's the reactor. Something always happens to them. They're always on the short end of the stick. They're always blaming other people. It's never their fault. Life happens and they wreck. Then I talked about the struggler. And the struggler, man, they just struggle through everything. Life is so hard. Then I, then I had the thinker. Okay? And the thinker was a person that sits around and thinks about doing things. Okay? Like a dreamer. They talk about it. They dream it, but they never do it. And then I had... Um, there's another level. I can't remember that level because I wrote that book 15 years ago. But then, DJ Boggs, there was the doer and achiever. All right, there was a five levels of people. And this was, man, 15 years ago when I wrote this book. And and so you don't ever want to be the reactor. Life just happens to you, okay? End up on the short end of the stick. It sucks. You don't ever want to be the struggler, the person that just, you want everybody to feel sorry for. You want everybody, I'm life is just so hard, man. I'm just so hard. You don't ever want to be the thinker, just sit around and dream about doing it, but not doing it, okay? The floater, that's what it was. You jump from thing to thing to thing. You never land on one thing, you float, right? It's like a monkey jumping from tree to tree to tree. You never stick. You never stick on something. You just continue to float around the universe. Therefore, you never master anything. And then the level five person was the doer and the achiever, the person is. We don't whine, we don't plain, we don't make excuses. You never hear us use the word overwhelm. You never hear us use the word we can't handle it. You never hear us use the word, man, I can't get it all in. You never hear, man, I can't believe I missed that opportunity. See, the level five person, man, is, is they're done thinking and struggling and reacting and floating. The level five person's like, by God, it, it's on, man. I gotta get up at four, oh, I'm up at four, okay? Um, you know, so, so when you think about it, I got to get, I got to get you to that level, but I can't get you to that level if you've given up hope that there'll be a level 10 opportunity. So therefore you just let yourself go, man. It's just like, Hey, nobody cares. First person that you need to care for is you. Nobody's going to care about you until you care about yourself. You do realize that, right? Nobody's going to sell you until you sell yourself. Nobody's going to buy from you until you have sold your own self. So part of what I did this morning is got my butt up. I didn't want to. I didn't feel like it. I got home late at 4 a.m. And I was, my big booty was in the gym this morning at 5 o'clock working out at F45, which is the greatest workout on the planet. Okay? And, yes, it's, I own 50% of F45. And, yes, you need to work out there. But but my point is, see, like, like this. I got a private gated subdivision. And, and the gate, this gate never works, right? It's like somebody just gives up man they just don't do it every single day they just they just don't do it man somebody's supposed to be doing that don't do it why not prepared not ready so what happens i guarantee that person will go oh my god i can't believe it don't work i can't believe it was tore up yesterday okay so we're so think about where you are in this level 10 spectrum folks are you a reactor or are you are you a struggler are you a thinker are you a floater or are you a doer and achiever, man, where you said, by George, I'm doing it. 
level 10 opportunity comes along, I'm grabbing it. And I'm going to take advantage of it. And I'm going to do something with it. Okay? So I, that's where I'm trying to get every person I coach. So this morning, I'm teaching Monster Producer uh, how to do a forensic analysis on your business, how to break down the business, what's working, what's not working. Best thing I can tell you is find something that works. Man, stick with it. Things that ain't working, get rid of them, folks. Okay? Things that ain't working, get rid of them. Okay? So if it's working, keep doing it. If it ain't working, what are you doing? Some of the things you're trying ain't working. Okay? They ain't working. You, you're going to have to come to the realization that they're not working, folks. Or you're just going to keep getting the results that you're getting. Okay? So level 10, the big lesson this morning, don't miss it, is opportunity happens, David Perez, to, to people who get up and take action. You always wonder, like, why does that dude have so much opportunity? Why does that dude go in places? Because opportunity follows energy. It never follows excuses. Never follows stagnation. Never follows sitting around waiting on something to happen. It follows movement and circulation and action. Okay? And so, I hope you take... I hope you take what we've talked about today, man. And, and let's let's jump on it, okay? This is called Level 10 Opportunity, folks. Level 10 Opportunities. The biggest opportunity in front of your face. Let's have a great day. I'm teaching Monster Producer at 730. How to do a forensic analysis for all my little monsters out in the world. Look forward to seeing you on there. I'll be teaching it from the lodge. You guys have a great day. Everybody needs a good coach.